Hello. Up ahead, you see the scaffold of a prototype a carrier. It's in vanilla, and you might be wondering, why does this system look so weird? Why is it all awkward like that? Um, it may be a little bit obvious if you've ever done this sort of thing before, but what I'm doing is I am setting up a railing system. And I figured I would show it to you, and if there's any interest in me creating ships like this and releasing them, sharing them with you, uh, I can do that. If there's not, this is as far as I'll take it. But let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. The big advantage here is that programmable blocks have been created. Uh, in the past, I used to try and do this sort of shenanigans uh, by hand, but that puts some pretty serious limits on what you can do. Not only can you only move one piece at a time, but even a slight accidental mouse gesture will screw everything up. Now, however, I don't have to worry about that at all. So, you can see that this area here, by the way, it's all glass. So it's very nice to look at, but it's so totally unprotected, and similarly, the bay itself is unprotected. Well, that's not a big worry. In theory, I don't even need the railing. There we are. Now it's all one ship again, and you can see that now the bay is closed in, and the front is partially covered. The final design would have more pieces that finish covering the front. So you could say that this is the battle-ready version. Well, the performance in terms of speed and maneuverability is the same in both cases, so that's not a big, uh, not a big difference there. Uh, but, of course, changing the layout means that we can go from exposing all of the soft pieces of the ship to covering them, and the pieces that we were covering can become, uh, you know, military stuff. So, for example, the back of the ship could be bristling with turrets. Well, let's invite Mr. Blue Guy down. It's just that easy. One button press. Let's go look a little bit closer, and I'll show you how it works. Although it should be pretty obvious. So this is the merge block set for the sliding piece, and that is the merge block on the fore side. The aft side also has a merge block. The railing keeps it in place, but you don't really need it when it's all machines. Uh, you only really need railing when you've got a human at the helm. So the final version probably won't even have rails. And you can see it's all connected up. The railing is a ship on its own. It's got an antenna that it uses to communicate its current state when it's, when it's disconnected, and of course, that antenna can be set to shout for help uh, when, the, uh, uh, when, when it fails to connect because you moved or something, it'll, it'll shout for help. It requires an LCD, which is used in much the same way that M Master uses his LCDs, in that it is the code that the system runs. It requires one programmable block, two timer blocks, and then two more optional timer blocks if you want to run something when you successfully dock, and if you want to run something when you fail to dock. The code involved is not very complex. Pretty straightforward, but uh, it also comes with a variety of things up at the top that you can customize, so even if you have no idea how the code works, you can easily set it up. So you've got something that it uh, it it detects to know whether or not it's ducked, something that it calls to check for what its code should be, something that calls it so that it can continually call itself, something that runs when it succeeds, something that runs when it fails, the amount of time it accelerates, and the amount of time it waits before it panics. All of that stuff is pretty basic, and even if you have no idea how to code, it should be fairly easy to match these up with the names that you've decided to use. Don't help. I don't want to hit help, I want to hit X. Because of the nature of this, it's possible to have an infinite number. Well, the computer can't handle an infinite number. It's possible to have, you know, dozens of these pieces all moving independently. And, uh, and that's really powerful. There's no widgetry involved. There's no, no uh, floppy bits, no hinges or pistons. It all just 
runs locked down as a single grid with all of the physics that that entails. So there's no skewing when you pilot it. There's no uh, no tilting, uh, nothing flopping around, no damage risk if you go fast. Yeah. So let me know if this seems like it would be a fun thing for me to complete and share with you guys, uh, and I'd be happy to do so.